टाइप कैस्ट ऑपरेटर टाइप कैस्ट ऑपरेटर टाइप कैस्ट ऑपरेटर टाइप कैस्ट ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर ओके यार वेरी वेरी सिंपल इट्स आल्सो नथिंग देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ टाइप कैस्टिंग वी हैव देयर आर टू टू टाइप्स ऑफ टाइप कैस्टिंग द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी अनदर फर्स्ट कैटेगरी इंप्लिसिट टाइप कैस्टिंग इंप्लिसिट टाइप कैस्टिंग ओके ऑटोमेटिकली वर्ड द सेकंड कैटेगरी वाह टू गुड है ना वर्ड द सेकंड वन explicit type casting okay so the first one implicit second one is what explicit type casting right so what is implicit what is explicit we will discuss so now just observe there are two types of type casting implicit type casting and explicit type casting right in that implicit type casting if you observe implicit implicit type casting what what it means here see suppose I am taking int x is equal to a. Sir, listen, listen. Int x is equal to a. A. If I can take system dot out dot print ln of x. Int x is equal to a. S O P of x. Can you tell what is the output we will get? Int x is equal to a. S O P of x. What is the output we will get now? Ninety-seven we will get. Ninety-seven. But actually, we provided care. But I am getting the output as ninety-seven. Someone converting my care to into type. Are you getting someone converting care to into type? Who is converting that? Is nothing but who is converting? Converting that internally compiler is responsible. This type of conversion, this type of type casting is a nothing but implicit type casting. Are you getting the point right? Okay. Now observe this one. So internally compiler compiler converts compiler converts char to int automatically. automatically by implicit type casting by implicit type casting is a nothing but you know this type of conversion is by default considered as implicit type casting i hope you people aware but actually i provided what char but now i am getting what 97 is a nothing but like same here observe observe this one i am taking double d is equal to 10 sir double d d is equal to 10 sop of d i'm taking double d is equal to 10 sop of d d i'm taking now here observe double d is equal to 10 sop of d sir internally make 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 sure here you should you should aware clearly right so internally double d is equal to 10 sop of d int value Will be converted to what type? Na double time. If I print what is the value, I am going to get 10.0. Are you getting 10? 10.0 by default we are going to get. Okay, this is so compiler. Compiler converts converts into to double into to double automatically. Compiler converts into to double automatically by implicit type casting. By implicit type casting is nothing but like. Are you able to understand? So who is the responsible to perform implicit type casting? Compiler is responsible. Are you getting? When implicit type casting will be performed? Have you observed? Sir, char to int or int to double. When implicit type casting will be performed? Whenever we are assigning smaller data type value to bigger data type variable. Sir, char. Char is two bytes, but int is how many bytes? Four bytes. Int is four bytes. Double is how many bytes? Eight bytes. So whenever we are assigning smaller data type value to bigger data type variable, then implicit type casting will be performed. Are you getting? Now, first conclusion: Who is the responsible to perform implicit type casting? Compiler. 
come by them. Second one, here have you have shown, when implicit type casting will be performed, smaller type of data type value, smaller data type value to bigger data type variable, if we are assigning smaller to bigger, smaller to bigger is nothing but then implicit type casting will be performed right. Next, and, uh, keeping small value in the big container, keeping small value in the big container, do you know what is this concept? Anna? Is uh, also known as widening, it is also known as widening, keeping small value in the big container is nothing but what widening or, or upcasting, it is also known as widening or upcasting, right? Now, fourth conclusion, make sure you should aware. Sir, at any point of time, 10.0, we can able to convert to 10. 97, we can able to convert to the cap. So, in implicit type casting, there is no loss of information, right? If really loss of information is there, then the compiler won't perform this activity, right? Okay, they say, there is no, no loss of information in this type casting. There is no loss, loss of information in this type casting, right? Are you able to understand? Okay, they say, so who is the responsible to perform implicit type casting? Compiler, next step, when implicit type casting is required, whenever we are assigning smaller data type value to bigger data type variable, implicit type casting is required. Next step, it is also known as widening or upcasting. Next step, there is no loss of information in this type casting, right? Okay, this is. Sir, can you tell any areas where implicit type casting is required or will be performed? Very simple. Here, see, see this one. Yeah, byte, uh, whenever byte to short, implicit type casting or not, uh, one byte to two, two byte, yes, implicit type casting, short to int, char to int, int to long, long to float, float to double, you know, these are various possible conversions where implicit type casting will be performed. I hope, is that clear for all of you that these are various possible conversions where implicit type casting by default will be performed. Now that analogy is that clear. So, who is the responsible to perform implicit type casting? What are various important points? Under some example. So, do you know, smaller type to bigger type. If anywhere small type to bigger type, acceptable, internally compiler is responsible to perform this conversion, right? Okay? But here make sure, we know, in this uh, type casting, nothing will be there to discuss other than this. That's all. These are the things which is going to be happen automatically, internally. We are not responsible for this. But there is some type casting where we require to perform explicitly by the programmer. Such a type of type casting is explicit type casting, right? Okay, now keep subbing explicit type casting. Keep subbing explicit. Explicit type casting. Okay, explicit type casting. Here see, observe this at this point well. Here I am taking int x is equal to 130. Analogy int x is equal to 130. 130. Now I am taking byte b is equal to int x is equal to 130, byte b is equal to by b is equal to x like this. I will ask, compiler, can you please compile this code? By b is equal to x. Compiler, can you please compile this code? Like, immediately compiler will tell, Durga, I can't compile. I can't, I can't compile because x is how many bytes? 4 bytes. But byte is how many bytes? 1 byte. 1 byte. Sir, 4 byte value. You are placing inside one byte place. Is nothing but one byte. There may be a chance of loss of information. Are you getting? There may be a chance of loss of information. That's why I don't want to yellow. Uh, I, I don't want to compile. Like, you know, compiler immediately will raise compile time error saying possible, possible loss of, uh, possible loss of precision. There may be a chance, possible loss of precision, found, found, int, found, int, required, is an atimat vata, byte. Compiler is telling very decently, there may be a chance of loss of information, 
I can't, I can't, you know, to compile, like compile the matter which you are getting. Then immediately you have to convey, compiler, if any loss of information there, I will take care. If any loss of information is there, I will take care. Not required to worry. Can you please accept this code to compile? Because I have three plus years of experience within bracket, not fake. Okay, this is not fake. I can handle loss of information, no problem. Can you please hello, hello this? How you can specify this? Is an atima byte b is equal to byte b is equal to byte of x. Byte b is equal to byte of x. Then immediately compiler is going to fill. Oh, if the programmer is going to take a loss of information, why I have to worry? Like uh, happily the code compiles fine. Are you getting that? So the typecasting which is uh, performed explicitly by the programmer. This type of typecasting is nothing but what? Explicit typecasting. When explicit typecasting is required, whenever we are assigning bigger data type value to smaller data type variable, whenever we are assigning bigger data type value to smaller data type variable, explicit typecasting is required. Clear for all of you, two points. Anna. Now, here, after some time, legend, legend, well, after some time, now, I'm trying to print SOP of B. I'm trying to print SOP of B. So what output by default I'm going to get today? No, minus 126 is the value I'm going to get. Whenever we got minus 126, then the programmer, of course, we are going to get shock. Because what value I assign? 130. Compiler told there may be a chance of loss of information, either plus 1 or minus 1. But here 130 became minus 126, then the programmer is going to get shock. But at this point of time, someone feels very happy. Who is that person? Huh? Compiler. Because compiler told at the beginning, Durga, not recommended to perform this assignment. Because there may be a chance of loss of information. Like, so I have three years of experience. Do you know not fake? I can handle. Now the compiler felt very happy huh, by seeing this result. Right? Are you getting? In explicit typecasting, there may be a chance of loss of information. Correct or not? Okay, this is. So, first point number one. Lajanana. Who is the responsible to perform explicit typecasting? Programmer is responsible. Right. Okay. Second. When explicit typecasting will be performed? Whenever we are assigning bigger data type value to smaller data type variable, explicit typecasting will be performed. Clear for all of you that is nothing but second. So, bigger data type value to smaller data type variable, explicit typecasting will be performed is the second. Next, the third point, okay, when, okay, is there any uh, keeping big value in the small place? Is it nothing but is it uh, narrowing or widening? Uh, narrowing, narrowing or downcasting or upcasting? Downcasting. Down, down casting like next there may be a chance of loss of information or not yes there may be a chance of loss of information because 130 suddenly it became what minus 126 right i hope you people can aware now here if you observe now if you if you observe here observe this one sir what are various cases where explicit typecasting is required. What are various cases where explicit typecasting is required? Observe this one. Sir, I have byte is there, short is there, and a byte short, int long, again byte short int long, float double, double, and uh, here carry is also there. Care. If you move from left to right, are you getting? If you move from left to right, implicit typecasting, smaller to bigger. If we move from right to left, right to left, is nothing but what? Explicit typecasting. Because bigger to smaller type. So, double to float, float to long, long to int, int to short or short to byte, into to cat. Are you getting? So, if we move from left to right if i move move from left to right left to right what is this type casting anna implicit type casting 
implies a type casting ha huh? if i move from right to left if i move from right to left what it is one x plus a type casting x plus a type casting so now that terminology is clear take this diagram take this diagram under these things also here observe same thing just uh, if you if we consider let me go for a simple example i am taking class test here see int x is equal to 130 like i am taking int x is equal to int x is equal to 130 130 i am taking byte b is equal to okay x byte b is equal to x sop of sop of so b like this i am taking on now observe can you tell either code is a valid or not now is it valid or invalid invalid because how you can assign 4 byte int value to 1 byte byte variable like compile time error we are going to get now let me let me take here observe the point well let me let me take this one java c test dot java compile time error compile is the providing very decently was possible loss of precision so found the int but required is nothing but byte now i have to tell compiler if any loss of information there i can take care not required to worry can you please accept this code to compile i want to spell out how we can byte are you getting byte b is equal to byte of x like this i am taking now have a look once happily the code compiles fine what is the output by default we are going to get java test what the output is nothing but minus 126 sir minus 126 what i told it is not random value remember it is exactly original value only is it clear for all of it okay 